We are always working on our home, and this is a project we've been thinking about doing for quite a while, pretty much since we moved in here. With every project we do on our home, the goal is to always make this house more appealing, more functional, simplified, and organized. We moved into this house in 2019 and we've been turning it into our home since then, doing one project at a time. Join me in this series as I share what we are getting done on our home. We are going to put a barn door, sliding door right here, because all of the bedrooms are behind this hall right here. And so if we wanna have it quiet from the living room, it would be nice to have a door here. We're gonna start by ripping this casing off and Grant is going to possibly make this a little bit wider and then we'll have to redecorate this whole area. We are working on two projects at the same time now. So we're doing the barn door here and then in my office we are doing a feature wall with some beadboard and some paint. We've decided to redo this wall. Both of these projects we're jumping into are somewhat quick projects, so we decided to do them at the same time. We decided to also enlarge this doorway so it feels less like a regular doorway and more like an entryway. How much bigger is it than it was? Three inches. A lot of work for three inches. <laughs> three inches is a lot. It goes a long way. Three years ago when we moved in here, I put this sticky, kind of a sticker wallpaper up from Amazon. I've loved it. It's actually worked really well and it was relatively easy to yeah. put up. Mm -hmm. But now we're going with something more permanent and it's going to be a feature wall. Because it is starting to peel at the top a little bit. Yeah. Let's we'll see how easy this is going to... Oh, don't let it rip. Don't let it rip. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow, it's actually still really sticky. Oh, God. I can see it. Surprise. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Let's stop this. Okay. We're going to go get the hair black dryer. And we're going to heat oh, it up. That's a good idea. And this is like thicker. Oh thicker. my gosh, it's shredding. It would be easier if you had the <laughs> extension cord out. Oh, it's so hard to get the extension cord out. That's stuff on there. That's my point. We got the first strip. Finally, the paper started coming off in big chunks and before we knew it, all of it was off the wall and we could go on with our next step. My mom did mention that this was way easier to take off than traditional wallpaper, so she said that getting this kind was a good choice. See that? I think all that was from that really bad painter. Yeah. Just or the initial people in the 70s who redid all this that stuff. That put that stuff on that ceiling. They just let it go everywhere. Yeah. What my mom and I are talking about here is our home was originally built in the 1950s, but at some point in the 1970s, someone came in and did some fixing up in this home. My husband, being a finished carpenter, has told me that the renovations they did were absolutely horrible and they had no idea what they were doing. But they did add an additional living room and bedroom and bathroom to the back of this house, which we love. But as we're making our renovations, we are realizing that nothing was done right and up to any kind of standards. While we are doing a lot of cosmetic updates in this home, we are also having to do a lot of structural updates as well. The floors are unlevel, and things, as I mentioned, were just not done correctly. 
Our goal is to fix all these problematic areas as well as make this home beautiful in a way that we will really enjoy for the long haul. Another thing we are doing is with every project, Grant is actually teaching me and the boys how to do a lot of this stuff, which makes it a lot more fun that we can all get involved and who knows, maybe someday I'll be a finished carpenter. Doubt it though. No, I saw when I was looking up design ideas that some people had it like, I don't know if it was necessarily a beadboard. Oh, look who's here. The kids are back. Ah! Came up to here and then they had a ledge. Yeah. It looked kind of cool. With all of these projects, it just takes a lot of time. The good thing is we can work together as a family and spend quality time together as we're still getting some stuff done and make it fun when we can. Whenever I watch a project channel on TV like HGTV, they show it happening so quickly and that is not a reality. The reality is that it takes a lot of time, energy, and even money to make these projects happen. He's telling me how facial recognition won't work if you make a weird face. Right, you stick your jaw out. I can't recognize you. No one knows who you are now. <laughs> We're heading to Contractor's Warehouse to look for the barn door, a hanging door. It won't look like a barn door. There's no animals in there. At all. And we're gonna look for the hardware to hang it. Unfortunately, we did not find the barn door. So I think we're gonna have to go another time to Ganal. Maybe Grant will go one day. Ganali, bro and try to find the barn door and the hardware. I'll look online too. Drive much? Province blue bare paint from Home Depot and then toasty gray on the top. We Today's the day we finish this wall. It's gonna happen. Grant is gonna show me how to caulk. Caulk, however you say it. Angle here. Okay. So I'd say come in a little bit of the angle, like that. So yeah, I keep saying the same thing and keep my finger. <laughs> I don't know. Come at it from the angle, or like, I'd come at it from this angle, actually. Okay. So you're going like this, I'm saying Well, like I'm this. trying to get it in the camera. Right. So start like this. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Alright, so like this. There is a major learning curve to a lot of these things that Grant does really quickly and easily, but I think with time I will pick up how to do all the caulking and using the nail gun and all those sort of things. In the history of projects that we've done together, these two projects actually did not take that long. Normally a project can take months on end of work. These were kind of going in the background of our lives. So as we were doing our normal routine, we would just work on it on the nights and weekends, which is how we do most projects. But this one did seem to go a little bit faster than normal. We ordered the hardware off Amazon and we went with silver because everything in our house is light white brush and nickel. brush nickel, silver, whatever, brush nickel, not black in other words. We looked for white, it was almost impossible to find white and it looked kind of cruddy. But anyhow, at least the silver won't be as dark as if we had black. And the whole thing now I'm trying to figure out is how I'm going to design this wall to make sense with the door open or shut. So we're gonna have to figure that out as well. How long do you think it'll take once we get all the hardware and everything to make the whole? Probably about that long. Like a few days or something? Yeah, whatever. All right. When it came to finishing this accent wall in my office, I feel this took the longest time. I kept getting interrupted with life as we know it. People were getting sick and then getting better and it just felt like the painting of this project did take a little bit longer than I expected. But I was super happy with the colors I picked out. I think it brought a lot of warmth to this room and I was really happy once it was done. I still have bigger plans for my office. I would like to get two chairs where my mom and I can sit and do our members only videos. And then I decided I didn't want this mirror behind my desk anymore. So I will be switching more things around in here. 
I'm ready. She's here. Oh, this could be a pointer. Here we go. So I've taken this painting from in the living room. I've put it here and grandma said no on that. So we're going to get bigger, wider, bigger, wider. You know, the whole thing is maybe it should hang right here, but then you no, have those the tools. whole thing is <laughs> you got to cover up those screws. Once this large mirror was gone, I decided I wanted to do a big painting with just flowers, something somewhat abstract and fun, and I want to get more into painting again, so I just have been spending my time on this painting. It is not done at all, but I wanted to get it started so I would have something to put up there in the meantime and work on it when I get an extra moment here and there. At this point, the barn door really started to come together. We had all the pieces we needed, but as I mentioned, life was still going on, so we did plant two trees out in our front yard. We wanna get a lot of our yard going. We've started working on that since this project had finished, and we wanna get things planted so they can start to grow and we have some shade eventually at this house. Once the barn door went in, I was convinced I was going to have to possibly buy some stuff for this room since we took down the large mirror that would no longer fit in this area on this one wall with the barn door. And I also had a buffet there previously that we had to move. I was thinking that I would have to purchase something for this wall, but then it dawned on me that we had Grant's art he had done a long time ago saved under our bed when we had done our living room. We weren't sure where we wanted to hang it. This was the perfect opportunity to hang up his beautiful art he had done a few years ago on this wall next to the barn door. So instead of buying something, I actually surprised myself by decluttering more. I decluttered the big mirror that was on that wall and I also decluttered the small dark brown nesting tables that we were no longer using. It was so fun to watch these two projects come together in the end to make our home more functional and more of our style of how we want it, transforming this house that we bought into a home that we truly adore and have our exact style that we really like. I'm trying to get everything feeling much more cozy in here, but also using our art that we've made and things that we've gathered along the way that we really truly enjoy to look at up on our walls. door not only helped with muffling the noise when we want to be in our bedroom or in our office but it also helped us to be inspired to simplify this room even further click right here to watch us renovate our home for the last three years